So you said the other week, by the way, that you had an important date. That's why we had to move times for something. How did that go? What date? How'd your little date go? What for today? You mean? Yeah. I haven't done it yet. It's later. That's why I had to go to. Oh, earlier. it's a night date. Yeah. Oh. Because I didn't wrap till like two in the morning last night. Yeah, they call them fratter days. Yeah, well, but it's it was Thursday. fucking terrible. So tell me the date tonight. Uh huh. Where are you going? To the wrap party of the movie I did. That's a. That's not a date. Don't take a girl to that. Yeah, I am. Why? You're going to introduce a girl that you're newly dating to people that you've been working with and friends with for years? Yeah. That's a terrible fucking idea. Why? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? He can impress the girl that way. That's exactly why. <laughs> Thank you so much. For once, dude, you're fucking, <laughs> we're on fucking the same plane, dude. You impress them. Because th here's the deal. She's a fan of Esther. She never met her, right? So Esther's going to be You're there. bringing a fan to a premiere? <laughs> Bad move. They're all fans. <laughs> Bad move. You think I'm walking down the street and some girl that doesn't know who the fuck I am is going to go, let's go fucking... Let me hey. tell you something. If I was a girl, I would just be attracted to you but just by your personality and I'd go, look at this cute little Asian guy. I don't know who he is. Who is he? Right. And then some of the girl in the group goes, that's the uh-oh hot dog guy. And she goes, I don't know who that is. <laughs> and she falls in love with you organically. Did your wife know who you were before you met her? I was nobody. Oh, that's right. And I still am nobody. Me too. She still doesn't know who I am. She thinks my <laughs> name is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark or something. I yeah. have no idea. Yeah. No, but, uh, but I know what you're saying. But you're doing this to impress her, but has she been I'm around? not doing an impress her. I'm going there. You just said you fucking were. <laughs> no, you're the one that's challenging me to say, why are you fucking bringing her to this? Yeah, I'm asking you. And, then and I'm, I'm just saying, it just happens to fall. I said, we were said, I said I was going to hang out with her. I said I was going to hang out with her the <laughs> night, this night. It just happens to fall of the fucking night that I'm doing this fucking thing, man. So when am I not going to do the fucking thing? I hope it blows up in your face a little bit. It's not going to blow up on my fucking face. You're, you're going to make bit. me blow up. Yep. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I went off. I'm so sorry. I'm just saying that, like, Please. She's a fan. She's not a fan, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why do you, what do you, what's wrong with you? You just said they're all fans. <laughs> yes, it is true that, at, <laughs> it is true that as a single guy, you know, people go, oh, you're a comedian, right? Or whatever. Yeah, right? you're famous. <laughs> they're all fans. I'd have to go to some other country, for, maybe, <laughs> like Ireland or something. <laughs> uh, do people listen to our podcast in Ireland? Yeah, all yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hey, Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, mean, what would you, if you were single, where would you, where would you meet girls? At the coffee shop? Let me tell you something. Yeah. If at some point in my life I do become single again, yeah. yeah. I'm never, I'm never dating a, a woman ever again. Oh. It's guys for me. What do you mean? Hanging out, playing chess? Yeah, anal chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anal chess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I got single again, I'm not going, I'm not doing that thing. But how, you're, never, you're not going to hook up? Professionals. Are you a uh, professional? I would just do, I would do paid sex workers for the rest of my life. Yeah, I just don't know how it works. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, you click on it, you're arrested, and, that, and then they come, <laughs> put me in, you know, I don't know what the deal a is. A little cop pops up on your phone, you're arrested. <laughs> I don't know. Please stay put. I don't know how it works. I, I think you got to get like a Heidi Fleiss. You got to get like a- Right. What, someone in the, I, we got to find someone in Hollywood who's got the connection. Right. And we'll get you some. No, I don't want it. Why not? I don't want to do that. But they're not fans. I'd rather be alone. Right. That's my point. I'd rather be alone. You're right. right. I'll either roll those dice or just be alone. Yeah. But but you know what? There's no shame in dating a fan. <laughs> you're going to make me so fucking angry right now. I'm being I can't genuine. Even fucking I'm not believe kidding. what you're doing I right now. There's dude. You're no making me fucking so angry right there's now. There's no shame in it. Stop fucking saying that, man. <laughs> okay. I don't know if she's a fan. Hmm. They, should, they just know that I'm a comedian. So she's a fan. What? So she's a fan. Okay, if, listen. She must be a fan. If I was gay, right, and I met Michael Bolton, right? I know who Michael Bolton is, but I'm not a fan of his music, right? That's So if I'm dating Michael Bolton, I'm, I'm, if I'm a, dating Michael Bolton mm -hmm. or Yanni with, doo -doo -doo -doo, right? <laughs> like I see a guy, long hair, Yanni, doo -doo -doo -doo, right, yeah. on the fucking thing. I hate that flute thing that he does. I I think vaguely know who that. That's Yanni. You think Yanni? But plays I think a Yanni's flute? cute. Yeah. Yeah. But, and and somewhere in the company, like we're at a fucking you know Earth Bar or something. You know what I mean? Got it. That's where Yanni probably eats or whatever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And yeah. we're eating gruel, whatever the hippies eat. <laughs> what do you mean bean gruel? You know the bean gruel they make. You know what I mean? And matcha, matcha gr green gruel. Yeah, matcha gruel. Right. And we're with our hands. They love to do it with their hands. Yeah, like Ethiopian. Right. And then, but right before we do that. We got our hands tanned. <laughs> we got our hands you know, they love the hand of their hands, Yana, Yanni and all those white hands. Do you have a hemp necklace on? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a stone in it. Yeah, yeah. What color is a stone? Uh, purple, 
lime green. You sure it's not yellow? It is. It's yellow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, there he is, Yanni. Mega and, babe. Yeah. And then we go and we talk about like new age things like um, Cosmos. <laughs> Cosmos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about Cosmos. I thought you were going to say Cosby for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he's going to go, I'm going to go, he's going to go, I'm a musician, Yanni. And I'm going to go, yeah, I know who you are, but I'm not a fan. Right. I don't like your music. And what do you think that would do with the relationship? You think that would be harder on him than if he wasn't, you weren't a fan? But then maybe I would lie and go, some of your stuff's I right. <laughs> right? But my, my point is, do you understand what I'm saying? I think those are the situations I'm in. Of course. They vaguely know what I do, right? But there's not, it's not like... They listen to Tiger Belly or Bad Friends or they liked Mad TV. Well, let me tell you something. What? They would be lucky to date someone like you. What is wrong with you today? You're going <laughs> this way and then this way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think you are such a wonderful person that any girl would be lucky to have you in their life. Oh, my God. Listen, my friend. Sexually, emotionally, like platonically, anybody on earth would be lucky to have you as a friend or right. a lover. I don't want to talk on about planet this anymore. Earth. I, what I'm going to say to you is. On planet Earth. I love it. Thank you. Because you're a special person. I, I love it. <laughs> and you mean a lot. Okay. To me especially. Uh -huh. You mean the most to me. Thank and, you. And any girl that you bring around, she bet she's got to go through me. What? <laughs> any girl that you bring around that you get serious with, well, she's got to go oh, through it, me. Yeah, when I'm serious, I, I already have I already have my plan. You do. Oh yeah. What is it? Well, what? Well, I, I feel like I, I'm going to know the feeling. You're going to know when it happens, right? I'm going to go. It's going to click one day. That's the one. Yeah, I like Veronica. Mm -hmm. I want to exclusively date Veronica. Right. And we're going to take it to the next level. Well, who, what is that? Just a committed relationship. You look at Veronica in the eyes and go, you know, this, you don't fuck nobody else. No. You don't fuck anybody else. Yeah, I won't fuck nobody else. I won't fuck anybody else. And we're together, right? I won't fuck nobody else. And at that point, there's a list of people I'm going to probably call mm -hmm. and tell that I'm in a thing. But doesn't she have to meet these people too to get through? First, I'm going to get get your their approval. Correct, yeah. Her That's right. Number one is your mom. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Then probably you next. Then number three. Well, Kalila probably. Okay. Number four. Um, Steve. Number five. Um, my agents and my managers. Okay. <laughs> number six. Um, George. Okay. Are these guys on the no. list? Okay. No. No, no. Neither of them. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen Pete. He never calls me or texts me. Why, Pete? Why have you been gone so much? Um, I have a family. Oh, fuck oh you, God. Pete. What? Why I got two this kids? Is, other people have families and they go to work. I'm so busy. I got kids. Oh, dude. Fuck. They need me. Fuck you. Fuck you, Pete. All right. 